come out. Mm. Oh. People hating on you. There's nothing for you guys to be hating on each other. Trust me. Mm. So it always has to be a house thing. Yeah. Trust me. Because even if you win the money, if the season wasn't good, you, you're not going to be that great too. Mm. Yeah, true. So that's why I mean... You're as good as your weakest link. Mm. What a perfect advice to all the housemates. Honestly speaking, I think Kosi's advice to all the housemates is actually perfect. It was smart, intelligent. Honestly, one thing about Kosi is that her intelligence and smartness can never ever decline. There is no need for them to be hating on each other. And Kosi was speaking out of experience. Meanwhile, guys, we are in for another interesting hot gist. Yolanda and McGinnior ended up causing serious drama while Kosi was still in the house. And guys, the way Z fans are seriously dragging, insulting and calling Yolanda all sorts of names on social media simply because Yolanda has some few things to say to Kosi about Z and Young Papi. Guys, Z fans, they are not just finding it funny at all. The way they are dragging Yolanda left and right, front and back, calling her all sorts of names and saying that she does not have any right to say anything about Z to Kosi or whoever. Guys, honestly, a lot is actually going on and in this particular video, I'll be sharing and unpacking most of them so if you are new to this channel and you've not subscribed guys what are you waiting for the best thing to do is to please assist the channel help the channel to grow by subscribing clicking on the notification bell button because me i have made up my mind that i will be giving you legit gist and update happening live in big brother and zamzi season 4 mansion do not forget to share this particular channel and video to your friends and loved ones and also like this particular video you are watching. So guys, as part of Biggie's plan and Biggie's arrangement, the housemate we are supposed to take Kosi and Pila around Big Brother and Zamzi Season 4 mansion. Shout out to Ruth Labode for telling me how that name is being pronounced. So as part of Biggie's plan, this housemate we are to show the special guest around Big Brother's mansion and Yolanda was one of the people that we are asking you know describing and telling this guest where things are being done people that are key player in doing things in those areas yeah. when i want to be loud to people i come here yeah. so here everything happens yeah. i mean liana was the one here yeah. yeah. and yeah. jenny is here they always come <laughs> here so, and and happy is here yeah. so to be quite frank and honest Yolanda was actually one of the people that we are making that tour around Big Brother's mansion fun and lovely to watch because the way she explained things to this Big Brother special guest, it is quite lovely and fun to watch. That was how when they went upstairs, guys, Yolanda was not explaining again to Kosi and Pila different beds, things that have been done on the bed, young puppy and Z bed, what they do on their own bed. Guys, just listen to what Yolanda was explaining to Kosi and Pila about young puppy and Z and things they do on their bed. In there is yeah. puppy and Z, puppy even and though they deny each other. Yeah. Puppy and Z, they do things there and I sleep here and I see everything. Who do you sleep alone? So according to Yolanda, she said she sleeps alone on her bed and she sees everything that happened inside the room. And honestly speaking, Z fans did not find that funny at all as they are saying that that is Yolanda the campaign or trying to make people not to like Z any longer. That why would she always use every single opportunity she is giving to the camp Z. Guys, the way people are seriously making issues out of what Yolanda said is a kind of surprising and shocking to me, basically because when young papi took Pilar and Kosi to head of house room, young papi also used his own mouth to confess that he doesn't sleep in head of house room because he cuddles every night. Guys, just listen to young papi explaining to Kosi and Pila why he himself does not like sleeping in head of house room. He's the head of house and I'm the guest. So you share bed. No, you don't share bed. I'm cutting I'm cutting every night. I'm cutting every night. I'm cutting every night. I'm cutting every night. So if your papi told Kosi and Pila that he cuddles every night, that is the reason he doesn't sleep in head of house room. And he said that he cuddles with Z to this same Kosi and Pila. And nobody even dragged them and said, why will you say something like that? You saying things like that? Me 
means that you are decamping Z. But because Yolanda said it to them, they are now dragging, insulting Yolanda, calling her all sorts of names, saying this one and that one, blah, blah, blah. Guys, the energy people give Yolanda whenever she does things, I really think that it is not fair at all. Like the same energy they are giving Yolanda, they should as well give it to young papi for saying that he cuddles with Z every night, every year. Well, away from that, guys, it was dramatic when they were all seated at the round table for their lunch. Guys, it was also dramatic because these housemates, they took turn to introduce themselves, say what they are into before coming into Big Brother house, what they want to be pursuing after the Big Brother show. So, some of the housemates said they just went into Big Brother house to show what they already got. Some of them said they were into this and that. Guys, honestly, they were just mentioning what they were doing before Big Brother gave them the opportunity to come to his house and what they are going to do immediately after the show. Some said they were going into entertainment industry. They were going to be acting. They are going to be focusing on their fashion, their beauty. Guys, they were just mentioning the brands they want to, you know, work with immediately after the show. Then when it now got to Yolanda's turn, guys, Yolanda being the dramatic person there and being the dramatic queen, the drama queen of Big Brother and Zamzi season 4, she decided to stand up. Remember, all the housemates that spoke before and after her, they were all seated. It was only Yolanda that stood, you know, to introduce and say what she was doing before going into Big Brother house and what she intended to do immediately after Big Brother show. The way Yolanda stood up really cracked up everybody else. They were all surprised that Yolanda would stand up to introduce herself while everybody seated to do their own. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm a professional model and also do makeup. Guys, one thing about Yolanda is that she knows how to make appropriate use of her screen time. Like whenever it is her time and she knows that all eyes and every attention Will be on her she always knows how to you know make appropriate use of her screen time like with the way she introduced herself and say what she has been doing and what she intends to do immediately after the show guys i think it generated serious reaction on social media and inside the house as people in the house we are cracked up by how yolanda decided to stand out and people on social media we are praising Yolanda for always standing out whenever they are doing something. Honestly speaking, I think Yolanda knows how to manage her screen time. But the most funniest and the most dramatic part of all these things aside Yolanda was McJunior as well. When it was McJunior's turn, guys, McJunior said... I just I just uh, came to the show to ride for the family and win the money, go home. That's it. I know, I know, it's that pressure, my man. Guys, it was even McGinnior's face when he was saying that he just came to the house to write for the family and win the money and go home. His facial expression alone was quite very, very funny. It was more than funny, guys. He started off by saying that he does boring 9 to 5 work and he is not interested in the entertainment industry or whatsoever. The only reason he came to the house is just to win the money and go home with a serious and mean face. Yo, this is where I'll be ending this particular video. Go ahead, let me know your thoughts. Subscribe to my channel, please.